All right, welcome back to I Love Be Me Me. So let me just go ahead and say the topic of discussion is if he is not winning with you, he will not stick around with you for long. Stay tuned. All right, ladies, so welcome back. So if he is not winning with you, he will not stick around with you long. Now, what does this actually mean? Well, I got a few tips to give you so you can better understand what I mean by this. The very first one is if he cannot make you smile and or feel like he is pleasing you, then he's not winning with you. Therefore, this is one of the things that is building up for him to say, ah, what am I doing here? The next thing, you, or I should say, when was the last time that you actually acknowledged him for who he is? Gave him some type of appreciation. Thank them for taking out the trash. Thank them for putting down the toilet seat. Thank them for just being the man that he is. Thank them for staying around for you and the family. It's not that you're begging. It's just that you are acknowledging him and appreciating him because there are so many broken homes. There are so many broken relationships. And you're not currently in one. Number three is what goals and or next level do you need to push him toward? Like he told you about something back in the day or many months ago. And for some reason, he has not start working on it. Everything else is getting in the way and bogging him down. This is where you need to give some type of a suggestion on how he can still start on his goal or reaching his next level. He might just need a little push, maybe even a little guidance because we are not all good at everything. So maybe he does need a little guidance, but that push to the next level, push to reach that next goal. Yeah, he's not feeling like he's really winning. He's stuck. He's stagnant. He's just kind of like blah. He really don't care. There's no joy, no excitement right now. Number four, are you believing in him as in, in his dreams, in him as the leader, and his love for you? Do you believe in any of those things? If you don't feel like you do, he ain't going to stick around too long. Because most men, whether they know it or not, they are designed to be the head of the household or the leader. And so when we kind of take that away from them, even if we don't feel like we're doing it on purpose, we're taking it away from him. He's not feeling like he's needed at the head of your table. He's not feeling like he's needed to provide for you. He's not feeling like he's needed to protect you because you got everything on lock. There is no room in your life for him. And he feels that you might not have ever, ever, ever said it. Like even, you know, one of those neck rolling moments where I don't need you. You might not have never even said that. But in his heart, he's feeling like you don't need him around. Why is he there? The very last thing is, are you making him feel significant in your life? Again, this kind of wraps around everything that I just mentioned. If he's not feeling significant or um, feeling like he is the man in the house. He's feeling like he's bringing the joy. He's feeling like he's providing and protecting and all of this stuff that's going on. If he's not feeling like he is the man, he's probably not gonna stick around too long. It's just something to think about. If you haven't encouraged him lately, I suggest you go ahead and uh, think of something that you could praise him for. It doesn't matter what it is. Usually the minute things are the things that we don't think about but those are the things that actually mean the most because when you think about it even if he took you out on a big vacation but when you get back there was no real relationship like everything about the vacation was just great 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 but it was basically a fantasy but in your everyday life he's taking out the trash he's provided for you guys he's bringing home groceries he might even be bringing home for real the check because some men still do that they bring home the full check Helping you clean up around the house. Sitting down that toilet seat. He's trying to keep the house just as clean as you. He's trying to help out with the children just as much as you. He's helping with the homework, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There are so many things that we could be grateful for with our spouse. Think about it. 
implement some of these things because knowledge is power, but applied knowledge is better. Start applying it.